Hi, this is Lincoln Dammerst here with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Ian Starcher and James Fisher from Peterson Games, and they're here to show us Orcs Must Die, the board game. What can you tell us about it? Well, Orcs Must Die, the board game, is based on the video game, Orcs Must Die, which is an award-winning video game. Um, and the feedback we've gotten from players is those who have played Orcs Must Die, the video game, love this game because it plays really like the video game as well. So we're going to run through a quick demo, and then um, we'll answer some questions through that process and afterwards. So um, what we've got here is a game that's in mid-game. So what we're going to do is start out with the... Um, uh, adventurers fighting. They're on the rule book. There are the, all the steps for the game, so we'll go through all of the steps. The maps, as you can see, there are several tiles, um, and that map book has all sorts of different configurations that you can use, as well as um, you know you can create your own, of course, because they are a tile tile situation. Cool. So, um, James, why don't you get us started? Okay. So like Ian said, we're going to start off, and can I have the rule book? <laughs> the rule book? Yes. The rule, rule book. book. We're going to start off in our hero phase. Um, that's because we're in mid-state, mid-game. Yep. Mid There's one thing that uh, Ian did not talk about, and that's the Rift Lord. Uh, the Rift Lord is kind of like the GM for the turn. So if there's a decision to be made, he makes it. So if there's two people, orcs can attack. The Rift Lord gets, he gets to decide. To direct who, uh, you're going to take exactly. it this Exactly. That's exactly. Or if the same thing, because every time you kill an opponent, you get a skull. And the skulls are like currency. So you have a bank skull on our Rift board over here, which should have started with one. And then we're going to start a couple because we're in the middle of the game. So if I want to use that and I'm not the Rift Lord, I have to ask him if I can borrow from the bank or I can grab from the bank. So he has those sort of decisions. But, like I said, it rotates every single round, so you can't be a bully the whole game. Um, and we can just for half the game. But So we're starting in the middle of the game with ours starting. Ian's going to start as the Rift Lord, so he gets to go first. Okay, I'm playing Maximilian. Um, every card shows the vulnerabilities, their move, uh, how much... Uh, life they have left and then extra equipment they may have. So I'm going to go to and I'm going to take on these crossbow arcs. Now um, my weapon does two white dice which is the most common dice uh, and then I have uh, an amulet you can buy throughout the game different trinkets, amulets, rings um, that give you additional powers. Uh, mine is brass knuckles so I get two more dice. So I get four dice total of the white dice. So what he's going to do is he's going to roll and he's going to see if he can get their vulnerability on the dice. And there's the card up front here that shows what the vulnerability is for each, each type, of, uh, type of the minion. Orc. So orcs have a, a sword, a crosswoman's sword, the kobolds are the little feet with wings so they're speed and so are the gnolls and then the bosses or the greater minions have different ones as well so that's a handy chart to have. So here I go. All right. So blanks are nothing. Um, speed will have no effect on orcs, but swords are their vulnerability. So I got two, so that means I've killed both of them. And I get two skulls. One skulls. Yep, one yep, for one each for of each. that currency. So um, uh, my turn's over. Okay. So I guess we'll start with that. My turn's up. My guy is Cygnus. Now, he doesn't move very fast. He only moves one. Um, but he has the ability to attack into another square. So if there was any leftover range. guys, I could have done a ranged attack. Only people with special abilities can attack into adjacent squares, and it cannot be diagonal. Um, Maximilian, even though he does have a crossbow in his hand, cannot shoot into other squares. Um, crossbow orcs, like the ones he killed, can shoot into other other squares. Maximilian is not the brightest guy in the world, so he uses his crossbow as a club. But hey, it works, <laughs> as you can see. So my turn's up. So the next phase, it it's goes into phase. our upkeep phase. Now, because oh, we're starting okay, here. Yeah. Upkeep phase only has two real things since we're not playing a competitive one. There's passing the Rift Lord to me. So it rotates. So it rotates. Mm -hmm. We get to restock our Rift display. So if we had bought in items, we would be replenishing it now. Right. And then there's one other thing that would happen if, if someone dies, they re resurrect in this phase. So after the upkeep phase, we go to the hero upgrade phase. This is where we can buy weapons, upgrade weapons, do any healing, place traps, and all that good stuff. Now the healing takes place in the Rift. 
Uh, and the objective of the game is to defend the rift from the onslaught of orcs and other minions. Uh, so that's, you know, some of them move a little faster than others and have different capabilities and different vulnerabilities, but that's our goal. The rift, like James said, is good uh, to be in for us because of healing. Uh, so that's, uh, and we'll get in more of what actions you can do as a player when we, when we hit that next phase. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and do the purchasing. Yep. So purchasing, I'm the riffler, so I get to purchase and make decisions first. Um, you let's paying see. With your skulls? You pay yeah. with the skulls you have, and we have one skull in the bank, so I can decide what I want to do. Now, because I'm in a lava lake, um, no traps can be placed in a special um, tile. So I can't do any traps, so it's no good even looking at that. I have two I can play with. And I'm going to spin that, and I'm going to borrow one from the rift. And I'm going to use this amulet. And this amulet gives me one automatic sword hit, sword okay. result. So I'm going to automatically kill an orc when, when I go into combat with them. And so my, my turn's done, so he can go ahead and make a purchase. Yeah, so I could purchase from here, or I can upgrade my weapon. In this case, because um, we're level 2, I can upgrade my weapon. Uh, so now, which is what I'm going to do, it costs three, Right. Uh, so I spend my three, Woo. and uh, now uh, Maximian is, uh, with his heavy crossbow is doing three white dice instead of the two he did previously. Okay. So, right. And then I really can't afford to purchase anything else. Um, well, so you're just the, limited by how much you have funds? No, you can, you can buy one trap and one, one item. Okay. So or one upgrade. So our turn's pretty much done. If we would have bought a trap, like let's say Maximilian was going to buy a trap, he could replace this one with it. You have to put it in the tile that you purchase it in, and it has to be placed at the time of the purchase. Hmm. So you can only have one trap per tile, except if you're playing the four player. Then it can be two traps per tile. Mm -hmm. So we already have a trap in there, and it's a good one. So there's no point. In uh, changing that out. So then you go into the minion phase? The minion phase comes next. So the first phase is all the enemies on the board moved first and it's very important to do that because otherwise you'll get confused with the new models coming in. Right. So we move them all. all and you'll of see them. there's arrows. They have right, to right. follow the, the flow. arrows. Yep. The flow, yep. Mm -hmm. And all these guys, if you look on our these chart all here, further. yep, they're going to move one up. The, they tell you what their movement is. Okay, so they might so have they move one. Fleet of foot or yeah, something. unless exactly. it says move two. Um, now you'll see now, when you're looking at that, there, there as as we go through the three levels of the game, uh, the the uh, minions and get tougher. Right. So it yes. gets more and more difficult to okay. to defeat mm -hmm. them. So the knoll here is different. He moves two, but he's also a character hunter. So he's going to move two Directly. or to the closest uh, opponent. Oh, so okay. our closest character. So he's going to move there. He gets to move too, so he's going to jump up there. And these guys move in the big overgoster. So that's the first part of the phase. Now we get the new wave coming in. So you flip the new wave. Okay. And, then... and because this is our second level, we have them coming in two entry points, both right here. Right. And you use there's three, you can do two, three, or four players for on the two layer okay. players. So we need two crossbow men and one troll. So two crossbow men and that big troll picking his ear. And then the second one is, what is that, one, oh, one orc and two kobolds. I thought it was an ogre again. I was like, ah. Don't have another ogre here. Oh, I got more in the box. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and, oh, and one Two kobolds and one orc. So, and by the way, this is not all the miniatures that come right, right. with the game. We just had limited space. Yes. <laughs> so they've come on. That's all the movement they can do. So after they go to movement, after they come in, we fire any traps. Right. Traps oh, okay. goes off first, and we have a ballista here. It says kill one orc. So one of these guys dies automatically. Now we don't get the the Point skull. skull. Yeah. It goes into, into the, the into the bank. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. So and that's, does, does the, is that trap spent now, or does it stay there? Some so some traps do spend. So okay. it's a one use item. This one's not. They do say in little red letters. One use only, if okay. they're one use only. That is something we're going to fix on our next print run, is we're going to make that bigger and bolder so people can see it. So does it, um, does it, it automatically rearms for the next yep, round? Okay, exactly. Cool. So that's a, that's a nice one because it's going to keep yes, pounding yeah, away there. you don't there. have to do anything to make that's it That's right. Okay, so the trap went off, now they get to attack. So 
four Maximilians in there, and you attack in groups. So all the orcs attack together, all the gnolls attack together, any crossbowmen would attack together, and so forth. So he has three orcs on him, and at second level, orcs do two attacks each. Okay. So we need six dice. Cool. Uh, it's cool oh. if you're not Maximilian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so his vulnerability is sword, so he's going to take one, two, three, three. wounds. Yep. So. Okay. All right. And then the other ones, uh, the gnolls. The gnolls, and we have two, and the gnolls on our chart, take they get two attacks too. So it's four more coming to him. So he's going to take two more. So boom, it's a good thing he has a lot of help. So that basically then it will just repeat that kind of, uh, you'll be adjusting the dungeon every time, mm -hmm. purchasing new stuff, uh, hopefully more traps and things like to help thin mm -hmm. down the numbers. Exactly. The, uh, what's the runtime on this game? Runtime in the game is about an hour to hour and a half, depends oh. on how many players yeah. you have. And, and how many does it support? It goes up to four people on the basic game. Okay. It goes, you can get the, ride, the other game, the Unchained game, which is just like this, but reverse. You're playing the orcs defending your home from the evil humans. Um, so, but you can put them together to go rival to rival. So imagine there's this identical map to this, just flipped. So okay. now we're trying to invade their map, they're trying to invade our map, and whoever gets the other rift to zero will win the game. Any availability of the game? Is it's it available a, right now. It's available we're now. going through distribution. Sweet. It's available on our white, uh, website, petersongames.com. Now, one of the reasons we're demonstrating this today is in the latter half of April, we'll be having a reprint Kickstarter plus some new um, uh, modules, you know, uh, accessories and things like that. Because cool. it's been selling very quickly, and frankly, we're almost out, so we cool. need it. Do a replay. So now we'll we'll do our turn roll. We got we got we got to wrap. Up. We got to wrap up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry guys. We're having fun. I know. <laughs> but it looks really good, and the minis actually look great. So yeah. do you have to assemble them all? Or? No. No. They do come pre-assembled. Um, There's no. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty much the case with all Peterson games. We don't. We we produce them ready to nice. play. Nice. That's great. They look mm -hmm. great, and they look like they'd be fun to paint. That's yeah. They they are. Cool. And the great news about them is if you play a, a role-playing game, you, you not only them. bought a great game, you bought an orc army to torment your, your PC. Well, kobolds are hard to get, so. Yeah, 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 yeah they are. Well, cool, guys. Thanks for showing us. Thank All you. Right. It was Thank a lot you, of fun. Lincoln.